ChatGPT3, the new chatbot from OpenAI, is all the rage right now, and I can see why. It's amazing what it can do. Not only can it write stories like this one about a panda that wants to be an airplane pilot, but it can write code. You can ask it to generate full web pages. And although it's not built for it, you can even trick it into making images by asking it to generate the code for an SVG file. So I had to know. Can it write music? To get things started, I had to define some conventions. Use MIDI pitch values, and write durations as a fraction of a quarter note. When asked how long a half note would be, it answered correctly. Now it was time to start composing. I asked it to write a four-bar melody in 3-4 time, and express that melody as a list of notes, each of which is a tuple of pitch and duration. I also let it use a pitch of none to express a rest. ChatGPT was more than willing to oblige, although it did somewhat questionably state that a 3-4 time signature has 4 beats per bar. Anyway, I went ahead and copied the result into this Python script, built using my scamp libraries, that goes ahead and plays the melody on a clarinet. Let's take a listen. Scamp also generates the notation, which looks like this. Honestly, it could be way worse. I wouldn't say that it nailed the 3-4 rhythmic feel, but it did create four bars of music although technically it didn't give me the rest at the end to fill out the fourth bar. Anyway, next I decided to ask it to make the melody more chromatic, see if we could get something more interesting than just notes of the C major scale. And ChatGPT obliged. Let's take a listen. Honestly, this result was pretty impressive to me. The only thing is that both the original melody and this new more chromatic version were really pretty stepwise all the time. So what if I asked it to do more skips? My next prompt asked it to stay chromatic, add more skips, and then also have it include some very fast notes in the melody, like 16th notes or even 32nd notes. I was hoping maybe to get some sort of quick jaunty rhythm. Let's see how it did. This revision was a bit of a disappointment. The notes were faster, sure. But the pitches were identical, and now it barely takes up more than a bar, and it completely ignored what I said about including skips. I tried again, but this time asking for a very long melody. I also asked for a different and unpredictable melodic contour, and emphasized that not only should there be skips, but they should be big ones. The results were interesting. On the one hand, it completely lost its head when it came to the rhythm. I guess that was a little bit my fault. My prompt suggested trying something new, and I didn't say to keep the rhythm the way it was. But on the other hand, in terms of pitch contour, this was a lot better. I genuinely kind of like it. So for my last prompt, I asked it to keep doing what it was doing, but go back to a rhythm with a variety of short and long notes. Here's how that sounded. It used the same pitch contour that I liked so much last time. And there truly was a variety of short and long notes. The shortest note is a 16th note, and the longest note is a half note. So how does ChatGPT stack up as a composer? Well, on the one hand, it is kind of remarkable that a language model that was in no way explicitly trained to make music can do this at all. On the other hand though, ChatGPT's musical instincts are pretty poor. What I showed in this video were the best bits. A lot of the time, ChatGPT just wants to write C major scales. Sometimes it even starts a scale and just keeps on going until it falls off the end of the keyboard. What musicality I squeezed out of it resulted from very specific prompting, following my own musical instincts. This makes sense though. GPT-3 was trained on text scraped from the internet. What it knows about music is gleaned from the incidental cases in which people are describing musical notes and rhythms in text. If a similarly powerful model were trained on a large corpus of actual musical compositions, let's say in MIDI or Music XML format, it would surely start producing much more impressive results. However, there's one crucial area where I don't think it will improve with a better training set, and that is its capacity, or rather lack of capacity, for self-reflection and evaluation. Take this interaction, for example. I asked it to write a melody following the same conventions as before, with the following specific requests. That it has a pitch contour with high and low points, about a quarter of the intervals are skips, the melody's chromatic, there's a wide variety of note lengths, that the melody stay in the upper middle part of the keyboard, and that the melody lasts for eight measures of 3-4 time. Here's what it produced. 
First of all, it made a rather glaring mistake in the note lengths. 1 over 32 is a 32nd of a quarter note, which is actually a 128th note. But that can easily be fixed by just multiplying all the durations by 4. Anyway, here's the music. It's not great, it's a little bit chromatic, and it does have some high and low points, although that's mostly because it just repeats itself. But there's only one skip in the whole thing, which is the major third at the very beginning. Its longest note is definitely not a half note, and it definitely does not last for eight measures of three, four time, even when I multiply all the durations by four. The real problem, though, is that it shows absolutely no self-awareness. It confidently states that about a quarter of the intervals are skips, even though there's only one. It tells me it included a half note, and it tells me it lasts eight measures of three, four time. Self-reflection is one of the most crucial aspects of composition, and of artistic practice more generally. When I compose, I'm entering a feedback loop in which I try things out, listen critically and evaluate, make adjustments, listen again, and so on. Not only does this involve being able to accurately evaluate the composition in progress, but it also requires you to keep reimagining the final goal, which inevitably evolves during the process of creation. The question of what our goal is when making art is a very slippery one, and I think it's one that is highly personal and deeply connected to our embodied lived experience. At this point, I see no evidence that ChatGPT or any so-called AI can provide this creative impulse. But what do you think? Can deep learning models replace human creators? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you get a lot out of these videos and want to support my work on Scamp, consider becoming a patron. It really means a lot to me, and your membership also comes with bonuses like early ad-free access to videos, algorithmically generated scores and MIDI files, and perhaps the occasional experimental music application. Thank you.